My name is Alu Manoli Sambatakis and I come from a school named St. Joseph Dawaka, found in Tanzania and Arasam in Kibada. And here is my colleague. Her name is Brenda Amani Munga. Tuko hapa na vijana wa darasa la saba wa shule ya msingi ya mtakatifu Yosefu ambao wataenda kuongelea kuhusu kifaa kinachotumika na madaktari hospitalini kuangalia vijidudu ambao wanasababisha magonjwa. Kifaa hiki kinaitwa microscope. In the year 1585 to pre 1632 in the 16th century, a Dutch person known as Paris Jensen, he was the first telescope maker or the first truly component of microscope making. His, his famous name was spectacle making. As you can see, this microscope was made by Zacharias Jensen. Microscope is an instrument used in a scientific laboratory to visualize minor objects such as microorganisms in cell, even a contacting image that is magnified. So, this microscope over here is made up of lenses, and each lens it has its own power of magnification. So depending on the type of lens, it will magnify the specimen according to, according to its focus length. Their ability to function is because of their beautiful circuit, special components that enable them to achieve higher magnification levels. They can view very small specimens and distinguish their, their structural differences. For example, the view of an animal cell, plant cell, and other microscopic materials. Microscopes are generally made up of structural parts and body and supporting the microscope, its components, and the optical parts, which are used to view and magnify the specimens. Objective lenses, these are the major lenses used for specimen visualization. They have magnification power about 40 times to 100 times. They are one to four objective lenses placed on a microscope. Each of them has its own magnification power. Ramp stop it controls how far the stage should go, preventing the object lens from coming too close to the specimen site, which may damage the specimen. It is responsible for preventing the specimen from coming too far up and hitting the object lens. As other people like to call it the iris, it is found at the understage of the microscope. Its primary or main function is to control the amount of light that reaches the specimen. It's an adjustable apparatus, hence controlling the light intensity and the size of beam of light that reaches the specimen. For a high quality microscope, the diaphragm comes attached with an aim condenser. And combined, they are able to control the light focus and light intensity that gets to the specimen. No, these are not that they are using focusing in a microscope. There are two main types of knobs which are fine and cost adjustment to condenser focus knob. This is a knob that moves the condenser up or down, thus controlling the focus of light entering the specimen. Aim condenser. This is a condenser special designed for high quality microscopes, which makes the condenser movable and allows very high magnifications of above 400 times. High quality microscopes. No, normally have high numerical aperture than objective lenses. These are lenses that are used to collect and focus light from the illuminator into the specimen. They are found under the stage lens to the diaphragm of the microscope. They play a major role in ensuring that clear sharp images are with an edge that has a high magnification of about 1,000 times. Eyepiece tube is the eyepiece holder. It carries the eyepiece just above the objective lens. In some, in some microscopes, such as binoculars, eyepiece tube is flexible and can be rotated for a maximum visualization. For variable in distance in monocular microscopes, they are non-flexible. The condenser is located between the stage and the senses. Why is it located there? For it to gather light sounds and red sounds. Light sounds from the microscope and red sounds to condense them. There are different types of microscopes according to their purposes. Some are used in biological application. The structure of the microscope is the head, base, and the arms. The head. The head is also called as the body. It carries all the optical parts of the microscope. And the arms. The arms is also used to carry the microscope. And the, it gives a voice to the microscope and it is used as to carry the microscope. And moreover, there are three types of microscope that are binocular. Monocular and genocular, and this is been discovered by a scientist called Chris Ramson. Stage. This is the section whereby you place specimen for being. The stage could be used to hold the specimen in sliding place. 
The most common stage, the mechanical stage, which allows the control slide and move the slide using the mechanical knob on the stage instead of moving it manually. There is a data as a microscope support. It also carries microscopic illuminators. Some high qualities of palm arm and articulated arm with more than one joint allowing movement for better viewing. Handle the glass slides carefully. What are glass slides? Glass slides are flat and thin pieces of glass that are used to put opens for examination under a microscope. These glass slides should be handled carefully to avoid breaking or misplacing them. Use a special lens paper always to clean up rinses and keep your microscope in a clean and dry place. Look after the bag and never forget to keep your user manual and reach it in a safe place. And, and last, perform an annual maintenance check. The Lord is often people to come for it in the moving time. It is in hold of getting printed. It is movable and it can revolve the lens printed depending on the magnification of power. There are several of microscope feature tissue analysis. It is usually installed about the cell, examining forensic evidence, determining the health of the system, studying the role of protein within in a cell, studying automatic structure. The eyepiece is also known as the ocular. This part is used to look at the microscope and it is found at the top of the microscope. And it is magnification, it is 5 times to 30 times, with an option of magnification of 5 times to 30 times. Make sure you choose the right place to in the microscope. It is very unusual to some, for, some, for somebody to work with a microscope anyway. That is very unusual because a microscope is it's supposed to be worked in a specific place, like the laboratory. That is a place that the microscope should be worked, and that is a place where it can be kept safe for future use. In immediately after using a measurement. This is a microscope light source which is located in the base, which captures light from an external source and low voltage of a planet. A microscope or soil is less covered. You must always keep a microscope covered when you can use it. Even if a microscope is discovered, it is stored in a cabinet. Eye tube, it is also need to be kept free from dust, so do not keep a microscope. Conclusion: Microscope are tools that are used to see tiny objects that are seen beyond what is visible by our naked eyes. Without microscope, we couldn't know the existence of cells, how, plant, how plants grow, or even how rocks change in time to time.